Doctors and patients today speaking out as legal fighting continues to delay the launch of medical marijuana in Alabama. WKRG News 5's Akivia McFarland spoke with those who are fighting to get the drug to people who say they need it. The Patients Coalition for Medical Cannabis Alabama got an early start on Thursday in its continued push for the right to provide medical marijuana for those in need across the state. The group gathered in Daphne at the Southern Cancer Center to raise awareness about the benefits of medical cannabis. It's a valuable drug. It needs to be available, regulated, and reliable. And right now, we're having to get patients to get it off the street, which is unacceptable. In July, the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission moved to award but not issue any licenses to applicants. Advocates spoke on the lawsuits that continue to hinder the distribution of the medicinal drug. I'm here today pleading with people to withdraw lawsuits that are preventing patients from receiving medication because of corporate greed. Amanda Taylor is the director of Patients Coalition for Medical Cannabis Alabama. She says the organization is the first to file a lawsuit on behalf of patients statewide. Taylor is an advocate for medical marijuana and suffers from several debilitating diseases, including MS. You can have difficulties walking, um, there's spasms, there's so many things, and all they can do for a lot of those things is just give you pharmaceuticals. And all the pharmaceuticals come with side effects that the cannabis did not do to me. Medical cannabis saved my life. Taylor believes that once access to medical cannabis is granted, at least 54,000 people around Alabama could receive care within the first year. Reporting in Daphne, Akivia McFarland, WKRG News 5.